Okay, here we are again cooking with Mike Philippine. I'm going to try to do this thing while I can. What we're, what we're making today is Texas style enchiladas. The real, the real enchilada. You know, I've been here for over three years and I miss those uh, cheese and beef uh, a burrito uh, enchiladas with cheese over the top and chili uh, and you know everything here is that they, they they make it they fill it full of rice you know you want something it's going to be full of rice and it's probably going to be sweet so um, <clears throat> thanks to SNR which is a company similar to Costco and my friend Brooks Weiss who is an expat that lives here in Iloilo City. He took me over there as a guest and I kind of picked out on some stuff and <clears throat> I'm having a blast. I got some Hungarian sausage and I'm using that, eating that now for sandwiches. Um, I got it like for 350 or 375, 375, 380 pesos for four big pieces and it's six, over 660 in the retail market. So. I got this stuff at S and H, but let me take the camera off the tripod here and show you a little bit what's going on. Oop, there it went. Okay, for the cheese, I don't have American cheese. Um, there, you know, I used to go to Kroger and get a block, five pound block of American cheese for about eighteen dollars and they don't have it so I got some mild cheddar cheese here and I've got some American cheese that actually tastes like American cheese here product which I'm gonna slip inside a couple of the burritos here I've got I'll tell you what happened I was at we were over there yesterday and I found two little small cans of chili and it was something like 200 pesos 225 pesos a can uh, for chili and I thought well, it's worth it. It's you know, it's one of those meals. I haven't had in a while So I'm gonna try it and we got a little further down and my god There was this big old 303 can you know one gallon can of hot dog chili So I took those other two cans back and I got the hot dog chili for about 550 600 pesos and it filled up four of these bowls like this. I've got three more in the freezer so I've got plenty of chili meat for hot dogs or for enchiladas or whatever else. And then for my fill in my enchiladas, I've got some ground beef, ground chuck, that I paid 199 pesos per kilo. But this is just a small portion. It's only like a half a kilo or less. And then I've got some Tostitos cheese that I got at S&H or S&R. Uh, I'm going to add that for a little bit of spice. And then I was able to find some burrito wraps. They call them mission wraps. I looked at the little package on the inside and it looked like it came from China, which is okay. But I got some good burritos. Uh, I've got these and I've got some in the refrigerator for the wheat. Now what I'm gonna do is, I've already buttered this on both sides and I'm gonna take it over here gonna have to turn the fire on I'm gonna have to put the camera down and I'm gonna make these I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a couple of these burritos go ahead and get them toasted up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do how I finish them up with all the ingredients back here and once I get them heated up and browned over here okay this is just a little more cooking from Mike Philippine because I ain't got nothing to do roses and bacola and uh, I'm feasting out now and I'm enjoying it Okay, it doesn't Thanks. take very long to get these tortillas done. Um, got one done already I'm on number two. Actually, I'm only going to make three. I uh, don't know how uh, for, for tonight, just for TV. And then if I've got enough extra materials, then I will go ahead and cook the rest of the other six. But that's all there is to it. You don't have to heat them very long. Oh, man. I can't believe I can finally get some Tex-Mex enchiladas in the Philippines without even leaving my house. One more, and we'll call it done. 
Gets this little puppy straightened out so she's not a wrinkle. It's going to be quite a meal. Didn't take very long over a medium fire. And that's all butter. I don't use any oil. I don't like using grease or cooking oil. You know, as you guys know, that's bad for your heart. We don't want to talk about that tonight. Okay, what I like to okay, what I like to do is I've got some sour cream here. It's not I don't like it near as well as I do in the steaks, but I try to put a little bit of sour cream in here. Get it get it working here. And then I want to take some of this mild cheddar cheese and put it in here. Then I'm going to take a couple of pieces of this American cheese. It's kind of expensive. I think I paid 160 pesos for some of this American cheese for 10 pieces. It's pretty expensive. But I'm going to layer it in here. This is kind of what we call our treat meal. I don't get to do this. Oh, my goodness, if, I guess if I uh, figured the cost of what it would take me to fly to America and go to Monterey House, this is much better. So I've got a couple of layers of cheese here. I'm going to put some of this ground beef, ground chuck that I've already cooked, lay, layer it in here. I've got this cooked and I've got it browned real good and I've used Camino and I've used black pepper, lots of garlic, lots of Camino to give it that authentic Mexican flavoring. And then just for a little bit of a whirl we're going to use this Tostitos chili con queso sauce and put it in there. Yum, look at that. Not a whole lot, just enough to throw some flavoring into it. Oh, this is going to be one of these fantastic low-calorie burrito meals. Now we're going to fold it, and if you saw my Nino's burritos, you're going to see that I'm doing it just a little bit different. So I've got one, and I've got it layered right here. Let's see if you can see that here. I put it on the plate just like that. Now, we're ready for number two. Back to our sour cream. I just kind of have to wing everything myself. When Rose and I finally get together a permanent place, then she's going to be able to help me. Actually, she's going to do all the cooking. She's probably going to have her own cooking show because she knows how to cook. She's a good cook. And that is so heart healthy. We know that, don't we? You noticed I haven't used any of that chili yet. a little bit of this chili con queso cheese on it. <clears throat> then we're going to roll it up. Fold it like we used to do when we just had to roll our own cigarettes in the old days. We couldn't afford the price of a pack of cigarettes. Saves so much time. Okay, a little bit more of this magic cheese here. Mmm, can you imagine that in the Philippines? We lay it right next side to it. Guess what? Got three enchiladas ready to go. Wow, what a meal! What a meal, folks. Okay, the camera a little bit there. And I've already preheated this. I've got three, three more jugs of this stuff in the freezer. I'm going to line it up on top of those enchiladas. Mmm. Wow. Ah. Take what left we have on the cheese and put over the top of it. Sprinkle it. Not only pretty, 
but it's very, very, very tasty too. Mmm. I'm sorry if I'm licking my fingers, but really, no, I'm not. And then we put just a little bit more, just a little bit more of that on there. And now we have it. Now it's ready I've for got the microwave. It done. That I've is got it out of the microwave. And it is absolutely scrumptious. Look at this. Look at this. Can you imagine having a Tex-Mex enchilada meal like that in the Philippines? No, not hardly. Not until you get a little bit creative and you go to s &R, the big guys. They're coming in, I think they've got one in Dumaguete, they've got them in Cebu, some of the other big cities. And now Iloilo's got one. And I can make a meal like this. Uh, I've been wanting something like that for a long, long time. Alright guys, thanks for coming along and thanks for watching Mike Philippine and his cooking adventures. See y'all later. Bye-bye.